live um, video on the YouTube channel. It's going to be a live course of you. It's going to be called, the course is called Fox Chapel Golf Club. This is a real course. Um, it is rated, according to the information I have here beside me, it is rated number 67 in the US by the Golf Week. Um, Fox Chapel Golf Club is considered a classic Seth Rayner and Charles Banks design. In 1923, Seth Rayner was commissioned to lay out and design a golf course for the memberships to enjoy. Be I, I take it he means members to enjoy, be challenged and want to play every day. Um, <clears throat> there is a lot of information on this. The creator is called Pitt1976. Um, in 2012, Fox Chapel Golf Club was selected to host a major championship, the 30th Constellation Senior Players Championship. So, <clears throat> there is a lot of information on this, guys. From what I believe, it is a very good course to play in real life. Hopefully, live here on the stream, it is going to be very good for you guys to watch and for me to play. If anyone, I'm just getting a live stream up guys, if anyone in the chat right now would like to join me for the round, please feel free. I have found the, the notification that I am live. Let me pause it and just get the chat up. So there we go, I've got the chat up. I hope everyone is fine this uh, rainy Monday morning here in Scotland. It is absolutely pissing down here as you would say in Scotland. The, hammering off the off the ground a miserable day but the thing is it's really warm hey Tim how's it going buddy thanks for stopping by mate so hole one is a 419 yard par four is a stroke index 12 I would say the fairways are medium I wouldn't say they're generous and I wouldn't say they're they're too tight Tough pin placement, that though, jeez. So, oh, hold on. I actually did not check what the fairways and greens are. So the fairways are normal, greens are firm, and green speed fast. Wow. So firm greens and fast pace greens. It's going to be very, very hard. This is going to be a challenging course. But I'm certainly looking forward to it. Okay. First drive of the day. And it's a perfect fast, and that will go left, but hopefully I'm just going to hold the fairway. KJ and Troop, good lord, now I know I'm up late when early starts a live feed. <laughs> hey, welcome KG, welcome to the live stream, mate. Mad Ammo, I'm in Los Angeles, it's going to be 95 today. I take clouds any day. Why, man, that is, that is hot. 95, that is hot. So I've now left myself just a short approach shot. Let's say it's playing 105. The wind is against me. The greens are fast. So I am just taking a bit more off of this approach shot than I would normally. That's a better swing. Better tempo. Oh, I'm really short. Might bounce on a bit though. No, so I am quite short there. I just took a bit... Too much distance off it, applied too much loft. So as we can see, the greens are fast and firm. 176 they're playing. This is slightly downhill, 16 feet, 2 inches. I'm just going to tap this. Hopefully that makes its way down to the cup. I've not allowed for the break and I've left it short, but it is just going to be a 2 foot tap in par. And it's really close here today, guys. The weather's really warm. My hands are actually sweating holding the controller here. So, so far, so nice. Uh, a, a basic first hole to begin with. It looks like second hole's a par five. So it's a short par five. Hole two is a 483-yard par five stroke index 16. And my phone is going nuts. Apologies for that. 96 degrees at 2 a.m. Why? So you're up late, KG and Troop. But welcome to stream, buddy. I appreciate that. So this fairway here is quite wider than the previous one. Looks quite straightforward. And we've got a challenging green there. You're seeing the slopes on the green. And once again, it's quite a tough pin placement. So 
this ball is going to slope off to the right so I am just trying to hit the centre of the fairway here one should take me round why what the hell was that I don't know if that sound came through on the live stream that was horrible so as you see it's just going to hit the green the green I wish it was the green the fairway and slope right so not got a huge amount of distance on that no, pleasure, mate. So, I can hit this in 296 yards. Let's say it's playing 193. Wind is in my favour. So, I am really lofting this up, guys. I am hoping to play this quite short and just get this ball running up towards the fairway. This ball is going to want to shoot right due to the, the slope. So very fast. Jesus, that's going to go left for days. Yeah, this could be dirty. It's going to go left for days. Um, don't be stuck behind a tree. So I should have a short approach shot here. Deep rough here. Uh, not gonna sugarcoat it. So my swing, guys, is really off this morning. 48 yards down 5. Let's say it's down 5 feet, so 43 yards playing out the rough. And these are fast greens. I I'm going to go with this. I need to get my tempo sorted. That's better. That could be nice, you know, if it bounces on a bit. So that should give me the first birdie off the round, despite a poor second shot on this hole. It's a five footer for birdie. One inch downhill, slightly breaking to the right. I'm just going to play this with a bit of pace and take the break out of it. There we go. So we go one under. One under for the round. Quite a nice course so far, guys. Third hole coming up. Very nice hole, this one. Lovely shot over the river. It is a par 3, 208 yards, stroke index 8. And that is a better pin placement. Nothing major on the green that I'm saying I wouldn't want to land in that particular spot. So 208 yards. Let's say it's playing 205. Wind is against me. I'm just lofting this hybrid right up. Hopefully I can get a good tempo swing on this, guys. There we go. That's better. Slightly left. This should be decent, no? Probably just going to be a bit short. A decent approach shot is going to give me a birdie opportunity, albeit a long birdie opportunity. 30 feet almost, one foot uphill. So I hope you had a nice break, by the way, Tim. Uh, I've not been on much at all. I jumped on late last night to compete in Wadey's tournament, which I, I, I was way out top. When I switched the PS4 off last night, where I'm still there this morning, but I've not played at all all weekend. I've had so much on, guys. Well, that's a lie. Sunday night I did play. Okay, so night 29 foot, one foot up. Needs to start turning and slow up. Uh, I've maybe put that just a fair bit past. Probably going to be about a seven footer actually. Five, foot. five footer for part, breaking slightly to the left. Managed to get the par save. And that'll keep you at one under for the <clears throat> so we stay at one under for the round through three holes. Let's move on to par, par four. Hole four, which is a par four. 486 yards stroke index 10. And this is a very nice looking course, guys. Really enjoying this so far. Fairways here are quite um, generous. A few fairway bunkers, but... I don't think they're going to affect me. Once again, a few fairway bunkers just before the green. It looks a fairly straightforward green again. Hopefully I can get a nice drive out here. That looks like the fairway is sloping off to the left again, so maybe I'm just going to use the the wind here to take me 
to the right end of the fairway and hopefully I should filter back down to the left hand side and there's a fast on that, wow and I've pushed it left as well so I could be trickling off the fairway here if this does run the way I think it does as you can see it is running left but I gave myself enough room to accommodate for that error there so 180 yards 5 feet up, so let's say it's playing 182 just taking a tiny bit off of this guys due to the very fast greens and the firmness of them this ball is going to slope to the left but I am hoping that with the wind actually I'm just going to leave this straight at the pin because I am hoping with the wind it's going to take me back round there we go the wind's taking me round this could be nice this could be running up towards the pin decent shot decent approach shot probably going to be in the 15 16 foot range for a birdie 12 foot so 12 feet up two inches just breaking to the right is it going to turn for me it is, so we get another birdie, so we move to two under for the round, guys. At two under for the round. Let's move on a hole five, which looks like it's on our par four. It is, it's a short par four, 343 yards, and that's a stroke index 14. Really enjoying the scenery in the background, look at that. Hills, as you would call them here in Scotland, with all the, the trees on it, beautiful background scenery. green very large green actually but once again it's a really tough pin very tough pin placement it's gave me my one iron by default I don't think I can hit my driver here but what I'm going to do is really loft up my three wood so it doesn't run out of fairway that's a better drive slightly left but I am very used to doing that. I do play one natural draw. And that has left me probably a pitch shot. 75 yards, 75 yards. Bang on the yardage. But this seems to go a lot further than normal. So you've seen how much I've lofted, how much extra I've put onto this. Ball is above my feet, so it is what to go left slightly. And hopefully I can just get this bouncing and biting on these firm, fast greens. Hopefully I've lofted up enough. I've played a fast on that, so it's going to go left. Look how left it's went. And I did have the yardage bang on, unfortunately. I did play another fast on that. Quick question. I play on PC and there is two hackers paradises. What does the logo look like? I'd like to join both. Look like they could use players... Um, a subscriber of the channel uh, asked me if he could recreate the Hacker's Paradise from the PS4 on the PC. His name is Tomo. I'm not sure if he's in the live stream at the moment. I've got no idea, mate, but I could easily show you the, em the My emblem is a star and a golf bag. If that is any use, I'm not sure if Tomo has recreated that for the PC version, but I gave him all the information, so he is mirroring the events from the Hacker's Paradise on the PS4 onto the PC, mate. So the Hacker's Paradise Open, I think it is, should have just finished, no, it's not the Hacker's Paradise Open. It should have been the Carl's, uh, I can't remember, mate, apologies. What I will do, though, is quickly show you at the end of the stream uh, a bit of information on what it looks like. So... I am opting to pack this. But yeah, I think he is looking out for players. I think he's only got four or five players for the, the PC version so far. Slight break to the left. 15 feet, 5 inches up. Wow, and I did not hit that at all. Did not hit that at all. So this is the save par. Pretty straightforward. We get a par save. Poor birdie attempt. But um, yeah, Tomo is uh, running the Hacker's Paradise on the PC. So hole 6 is a par 3, 193 yards, stroke index 6. Wow, 
Once again, a very tight pin, guys. Nothing there that concerns me, though. I really don't want to be on the left side of the green. If I put a fast on it, I will be. No, pleasure, mate. Pleasure. So, 179 yards. Let's say 178. It's playing. Wind is in our faces. I'm just going to try to get this bounce on the fairway. Then onto the green. Hopefully the wind's going to do what it's supposed to do and bring me round here. Hopefully I don't put a fast on it. That's a great swing. Hopefully my yardage is right. I'm wanting just this to bounce on the fairway. Ah, oh, why the wind's put me a lot left. Wow, that wasn't even a, a 7 mile per hour wind blowing hard to the right. It was a diagonal, so... I've now left myself a tricky shot. I can't believe the wind done that, to be fair. Just taking a bit of distance off of this chip shot, other than a bit of loft. So it's got the height to get up there. Oh, and it didn't at all. That's a, oh, at least it's stuck. It's stuck. Miserable shot there, though. Miserable shot. Another miserable shot. What is going on, Lee? Yeah, so I've certainly not got my mojo on first thing this morning, guys. I need to chip this in. Why? My chip shots are terrible. That's embarrassingly bad. So I've got this for a bogey. A double bogey on a par 3. Wow. 8 footer, 1 inch up. So, it's a double bogey, and that is going to take me back to level par. That, hole puts you up to even par. that was embarrassingly bad, guys. I will improve as the round goes on. I should have played a practice round on a course before going live. I always say I'm going to learn from my mistakes, but never do. Yeah, terrible, mate. Absolute terrible shot. So, hole 7, short par 4, 295 yards, stroke index 18. And there's nothing in this hole here that concerns me. I do feel I might be close to driving this if I can play it well. It's a good drive. Hopefully the wind takes me around right. It's not. So there you go, guys. It's just showing you the inconsistencies with the wind. One time it does it. The other time it doesn't and seems to over-exaggerate it. It is just a, an issue with the game. So hopefully I can execute this chip shot far better than I did previously. It is fast greens. Sloping down to the left. That looks a better shot. Knox actually just stopped dead. So it's probably going to be about a 9-10 foot... Pat for birdie. I want you to get better, damn it. Yeah, well, you're not you're not going to be getting much tips today, buddy. Not with that chip shots. So, nine foot are breaking quite aggressively to the right. Oh, and I missed missed on the low side, and that despite just happening that that has went about five six feet past five feet. So this is ain't no gimme par, guys. Get the par putt, and that's going to keep me at level par. That's disappointing, though. I was hoping to at least come away with a birdie there. Just the game mechanics sometimes frustrate you guys with a wind doing what it should one time and then not others. So hole eight, 476 yards, par four. A stroke index two. Quite narrow or fairways on this one. That bunker might come into play for me, actually. I'm not certain. A large green again. Pin placement is quite favourable this time. Quite favourable. Hey, Dan P. Welcome back to the stream, buddy. I hope you're fine. On this horrible, miserable morning here in Costa del Scotland. So I'm just going to try to avoid this bunker. I do, don't feel I'm going to hit that. I really can't see it. Far better tempo swing. Yeah, 
wind has taken me round nicely there. So there you go, guys. A two mile per hour wind takes me round this time. The four mile per hour wind on the previous round did nothing. So three, six, nine, twelve. That's playing one five five due to the firmness and fastness of the fairways. Just lofting up a fair bit here. With his eight iron. Try and get this to to bite. Oh, and I played a fast in that again, Lee. So my tempo swing is really all over the shop today, guys. Once again, it looked like I had the yardage bang on, but because I'm hitting it fast. David Dightfire, welcome to stream, buddy. Has it been smooth today, Lee? P.S. Sorry about mixer issues. If you're on Windows 10, you can register with your... It's It's been not bad, mate. Um, I'm just on, mate. This is my first round of the, the day. Um, yeah, it just would not let me join, mate. So apologies about that. I mean, I don't have time. I mean, mucking about with things, David, obviously, uh, as I hope you can appreciate it. Um, I will try and stop by your Twitch stream one day. But I have seen the game on Xbox. There's a couple of YouTubers I follow on Xbox. So, I mean, the game's been not bad today, mate. The game's always got its issues. So 25 feet, 3 inches down, break into the right. And I don't feel I've hit that. I haven't. I've left that about 9 feet, 8 feet short of the cup. 9 footer, here. So we can 9 footer wow. That 3 inch slope just did nothing, but in all fairness, I only caught 1 inch of it. The, pre the two other 2 inches were here. This should be a makeable par putt though. Should start to turn round, and we get a par save. But welcome along, David. Hope you're fine, mate. Thanks for stopping by. So, hole nine, 450 yards, par four, stroke index four. And for those of you who were late to the stream, guys, this is Fox Chapel uh, Golf Club. It is a real course in America. So this is a 450 yard par 4 stroke index 4 and look at that green, you certainly don't want to be left in that green but mind you it could work to your advantage, it looks like it's sloping down towards the cup. Yeah that's okay David, like I say mate, I'll, if, you, if you leave the link to your Twitch channel I will try and stop by. Um, and catch one of your streams, mate. I'm sure it'll be good. Man, did you ever launch it? And man, did you ever launch that, as John says. So that should be about 290 yards, it is. Bang on the nose, 290 yards. Right. Hey, how's it going, Wadey? Good morning, buddy. Thanks for stopping by the stream, pal. I enjoyed your... Your tournament last night, Wadey. I really did. Good course, that, mate. Challenging greens, but I really enjoyed it. So 166 yards. Let's add 6 yards. So 172, that's playing. Wind is slightly against me. Just going to take a bit off, because the yards, these are firm greens. And that was glitchy as hell, that backswing, but... Should work out good. I'm hoping this is going to come off this slope actually and feed in. It didn't, it stopped dead. Wow, look at that, guys. I must have read that slope wrong. I thought that slope was feathering and down towards the towards the hole. Dan P, I've been distracted at the start of the footy season and haven't played. I'm the same, mate. I'm the same. I'm I'm back back in and it big as well, so. Looking forward to them, Wadey. I really am. I'm looking forward to it, mate. Thanks for for putting the effort into your society that you do, buddy. So this is a really tough putt now, guys. 52 feet. Wow, I'm 52 feet and 1 feet up. If I can get out of this while par, I'm going to be absolutely delighted. This is a tough, tough putt, this, guys. I don't think I've hit that enough. It should come off of that bank, though. Yeah, and it's just going to go way, way right. Dreadful shot. My pattern has been absolutely shocking today, guys. 
So 27 feet, one foot up, break it to the right, right, right. Okay, need to get this close. Need to hold this for a birdie, eh, for a par save. That should start to turn. That should start to turn. Wow, how did that not drop? So guys, due to my putting, it's going to be another bogey. So despite being two under, I am now one over for the round. That uh, double bogey on the par three killed me. So not playing well today at all, guys. Let's move on to hole 10. 409 yards, par four, stroke index 11. And this hole just looks wow. With all that beautiful scenery in the background. Where I live, guys, this is the scenery I'm used to day in, day out. Beautiful part of the world. Although this is America. So nothing major on the greens here. I really need to start getting my finger out. Just a slight wind to the right. That's a better tee shot again. Slightly left again, but like I said, I always accommodate for my natural draw. That took a huge bounce right. So I am going to be really, really close to the green here. It's probably going to be a pitch shot here or my lob wedge. It is the lob wedge. 85 yards. So I'm bang on distance. Due to the firmness of the greens, guys, I am lofting up ever so slightly. This ball's going to want to shoot right due to the slope. And hopefully I don't put a fast on this. That's a far better shot and hopefully I'm going to be rewarded here. Wow, it was really short and I've hit a slope. Wow. Now when I looked at the greens, it did not say there was a severe slope, but clearly there is. So yeah, I've got a 5 inch uphill putt. Wow. Breaking to the right. Needs to start turning for me. It didn't turn at all. That ball did not turn despite all that aggressive breaks. A here. So a three footer to save par. We get a par save. Par. Well so that's going to keep me at one over guys. But so far I'm enjoying this course. So let's move on to hole 11, which is a par 3. The last par 3, I got a bloody double bogey due to playing a fast uh, downswing. So it's 156 yards, stroke index 15. Looks quite a tight, tight, tough pin pacement, actually. I don't want to be short because that ball's going to roll for right for days. So I am calculating taking five yards off of this. So one, four, three. So this is the club, but the wind is strong in my favour. I am jacking up. I do not want this to be too short. I'm going to just try and fire right at the pin here, guys. Should be good. This, one's a beauty. this should be good. Wow. Happy with that. Would have liked it to stop dead. Last time I watched you, you were playing with an injury to your hand. Look, that's right, mate. I cut my bloody thumb quite badly with a Stanley knife. Um, my mum, who is a nurse, said it should have required stitches. But I didn't have a plaster in the house, so I had masking tape. Um, some of you that won't know, I, I was a painter decorator before my change of career. Um, when I was a young man playing football. I got an apprentice, but apprenticeship behind me, which was painting and decorating. Um, it's handy for, for myself and for family and friends and things, but uh, I badly cut my finger with a Stanley knife, and my mum says I should have actually went to the hospital with it, and by the time she'd seen it two days later, it was too late to get it stitched. But it's all good, mate. The bloody masking cape tip sticking to the... The right stick, the analog stick. So it's a seven foot part, two inches down. This is to get back to level part. We get there. Okay, that takes you down to even par. Nice. Perfect, David. I will do, mate. To be fair, I've not had as many errors as I have had previously. So fingers crossed, David. But thanks very much, mate. I really appreciate it. So hole twelve. 
is another par 4, 344 yards, stroke index 17. And wow, this this looks totally different to the, the previous holes. Not sure if that's a if that's a clubhouse or, or a large house that's on the the, the the grounds of the course. But it looks really nice. Quite a tough green again, guys. So I should get this close and leave my cell basically a chip shot. Or dare I say it, the dreaded flop shot. Now this ball is going to run down right by the looks of it. Hopefully the wind's going to take me round. Whoa. Glitchy as hell backswing. That was exceptional. It's a good drive. Hopefully I get a favourable bounce. The ball will probably end up the way in the bottom of the fairway on a slope though to be fair. Hey, good morning birdies and bogeys, 5am in Atlanta, Georgia, good morning Lee, good morning to you pal, mad ammo, put some tape on it, Scottish healthcare law, that's some man business, <laughs> yeah that's the way we do it, supposed to be a new patch coming soon, yeah I've heard that Wadey, I do believe it's going live for the PC version, am I right guys, the PC guys are getting it first, Um, then as usual I say, PS4 guys and console guys, Xbox guys are getting it after that. So, 40 yards. I'm really lofting this up, guys, because it's firm greens. I, I'm on a severe slope here. Don't like how this club's coming back at the moment. It's not in sync with my controller. That should be decent. That should bite. Oh, just a bit short. Just a bit short. I did put a slow backswing in that as well. So seven footer, break into the right, one inch. So it's another birdie, so I do get to one under par. So a bit of a messy scorecard, score card, guys. Par, birdie, par, birdie, par, double bogey, par, par, bogey. Par, birdie, birdie. So two birdies on the trot. Let's see if I can keep this birdie train going. Hole 13 is a 433 yard par 4. Stroke index 7. Looks like it's going to be a dog leg right. It'll be interesting to see if I can drive past this tree to give myself an approach shot. I'm sure I probably could with the two clubs. Would it already been stream then, Lee? I'm guessing so. Would it already be on stream then? I'm not not 100% certain, David. It could well be. Obviously, I'm not a part of me on the PC, guys. It may well be live on the PC. Um, I'm not got a clue, to be honest with you, gents. Apologies about that. If there's anyone on here in the PC or in the know, I'm sure they'll put it in the chat. So there's my natural draw, guys, as you can see. Coming round with the wind. Probably going to be left side of the fairway here. Hey, Carl, welcome to the stream. It is, it's a really nice looking course, this, guys. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I did find this on the HB Studios forum. The creator, Pit1976, has obviously put a lot of work into this, guys. Um, he's put a, a huge bit of information about the course up on the forum. I did read quite a bit out at the start of the stream, which will be replayed in a YouTube video if you guys miss it. Uh, this will be live, well, not live on YouTube. We are live tube on YouTube just now, but you'll be able to catch it again on uh, YouTube. So 128 yards, up six feet. So let's play it. Say it's playing 130. Due to the firm fairways, I'm just lofting this up. As you can see, once again on a slight slope, but I'm just hitting a straight at the pin. I am hoping the wind's going to counteract that slope that I'm playing on. And take it back round. And there's a fast. I have put a fast on that, so it is going to be way left. And it looked, once again, that my yardage was going to be quite good. I should be pin high. I am pin high. Just unfortunately, guys, at key moments, I'm putting a fast on my my swing 35 feet one foot up break into the right that looks like a better way of putting that 
Needs to start turning though. That only turned ever so slightly, so it's going to be a gimme birdie to be fair. But these putts are not turning like I'm expecting them to, guys. So I stay at one under. <laughs> kind of hacking my way around this course today, guys. Not playing fluent golf at all. So hole 14. Par 4, 450 yards. 455 yards, sorry. Stroke index 9. Once again, average fairways. Not too generous and not insanely tight. And that looks like a better pin placement. But as you can see... A fair bit of slopage on the green, especially at the front and just about 7 8 yards away from the pin, so it's going to be quite a tough approach shot. Once again, I've been really good off the tee, it just seems to be my approach shots I'm putting fast on it. But welcome along at the stream, guys, all the new guys that are just dropping in just now. Thanks very much for stopping by. So 159 yards, up 15 feet. So let's say 164. I don't know how you use, you use those tours. I'm new and keep trying them, but just make... KG and Troop. Honestly, mate, if you ask the guys I play with, and at times in my videos, I probably do come across as frustrated. Um, when I started playing the golf club too with the tour clubs I had a full head of hair um, I'm now near bald mate my hairline has receded drastically <laughs> but no it is frustrating mate but like anything in life you've just got to persevere the one thing I will say and I keep saying this is it has made me a far better player if you watch I do play one natural draw but my swing is very very straight you need to be you do need to be, because unlike the standard of the player clubs, you get you get punished for anything on this. But stick with them. Stick with them, mate. Um, I know a lot of guys who go and play the tour clubs and then say, ah, after a round or two, fuck that, I'm going back to the player clubs. But you're never going to learn them. I'm not going to say I've got them mastered. I've got a straight swing, but my tempo, as you see, is, is off at times. But I get far more enjoyment playing the game with the tour clubs than I do with the players. But um, just persevere, mate. That's, that's all it is. I have bad days on the, on the courses. I really do. I'm struggling today. So that is playing 164. Wind is against me quite severely. I'm actually going to take a bit off of that because of the slopes on the green. And I am playing slightly uphill here. That's a better strike. I do feel I'm going to be short though. I feel I'm going to be quite short. Yeah. It's probably going to be quite a tough putt this. I was really short. Sometimes your streams are dead on. Yeah mate, I, it's like anything. You play well. I mean last night I had some really good rounds on Wadey's tournament. Um, today, in all fairness, it is my first round. With the tour clubs you can't just wake up and get everything perfect. Sometimes I play practice rounds, sometimes I don't have the time like today. So 28 feet, one foot up. This is breaking left and then breaking right again at the top. This could be nice. Wow. Just that just did not come round like I expected there. So it's just a tap in par. So I stay at one under for the round, guys. Be nice to finish uh, one under. I've got the tempo good, but still having lots of trouble hitting the ball straight. That'll come, crazy train, and welcome to stream, by the way. That'll come. I'm the other. I'm the opposite way round, mate. So hole 15 is 383 yards, par four, stroke index five, and this is a really nice looking hole. Looks very challenging. Looks like the fairways and the greens on two parts two levels really don't want to be long in this hole so wow with that wind behind me in the elevation can I get onto that second part of the the fairway guys what do you think that is water I don't think I'm going to make that I probably can't risk it so I am just coming down to the one iron yeah, I'm going to come down to the one iron here, guys. 
There's a fast. Jesus Christ. There we go. Good. Should be okay though. It should bounce right here. Yeah. So kind of got away with that one. So yeah, I made the right decision to lay up. So 115. I am playing this club here, guys. Even though with the wind, I'm just taking a bit of loft off of this. This club should be quite bang on if I can get the yardage right. And the accuracy if I can allow for the wind. It's a better tempo swing. And this could be nice. I think it's going to go slightly more left. Slightly more left. It's went hell off a left. How the hell is that? Wow. Okay, so it's a tough putt for birdie. 15 feet, 4 inches down, breaking slightly to the left. And I've got the feeling if I play this badly, guys, this is going off the green. That needs to stop. Could stop any time now, ball. It's actually not a bad putt from there. 5 feet past. That broke a lot more than what I anticipated. So it's just a 6 foot tap in for part. We get it. It's going to keep me one under for the round, is it? Or two under for the round? One under for the round. Three holes to play. I struggle with tour clubs and courses with narrow fairways because I'm always slightly off straight with my drive, hacking out the rough all way. Yeah, I, I feel you, uh, Dan. It is tough. It can be a struggle. So hole 16 is 433 yards. It's a par 4. Stroke index 3. Very straightforward hole, this. Once again, the pin placement, guys. Wow. That is a tough pin. Very tough pin. Yeah, David, I'll try my best, mate. I do a f football coaching tonight. I won't be home till about half eight in time I get a shower and have a workout in my gym and get a shower and that. I will try and stop by your Twitch stream, mate. But you're going to have to give me the link to your Twitch stream, buddy. So, 5 mile per hour headwind, and headwind, 5 mile per hour wind into my face, sorry. Down to 4 mile per hour now. And I don't like how the, the, the club, I'm swinging guys, and then about a second, two second later, the, the back swings responding. It seems way out of sync this morning. That was better. Good. Hey, Steel Bean, good day, mate. Good morning. Or probably good evening in Australia, is it, Steel Bean? But welcome to the stream, buddy. Thanks very much for stopping by. Okay, we have so, 3, 6, 9, 12. So that is playing 135. Just going to take a tiny bit off of this. Wind is slightly in my face. There's another fast. How come it's all on my approach shot, guys? It seems to be every... Well, not every, about 70% of my approach shots is I'm pushing fast, pushing left with a fast swing. So once again, these greens are challenging. 26 feet, 5 inches downhill. Everything seems to be downhill putts. This is going to be a real challenge. Got no idea how this is going to turn out. That ball could stop now for me, but it's not. Haha, <laughs> Dutch. Oh, you're Dutch. Sorry, buddy. Paul Hannaway, hi, welcome to the stream, Paul, thanks for stopping by. Sorry, Steel Bean, I always had you down for an Aussie, so apologies about that, buddy. Very straightforward par putt, 8 foot. So, managed to get the par, but really disappointed with my approach shots today, guys, to be fair. Not being zeroed in. So, hole 17. Is a 231 yard par 3 stroke index 1 so I fully expect this to be a tough hole it's a long par 3 why look at that green man Jesus Christ that can't be real in real life like that wow certainly don't want to be short if if not again inform me via twitch when you can do send a message to you. okay mate Thanks a lot, David. I'll definitely, uh, when I get the chance, stop by your channel. Hopefully tonight, mate. I can't make any promises, but I will try my best. So that is playing 235. Just going to put 
put a fair amount of loft onto this one iron, guys, but I really don't want it to be too short. I'm just going to try and get this running up towards the pin. Hopefully the wind's going to take me round. There's a fast again, and just look how left that ball goes. Could be in trouble here. Could be off the bloody dart path. So shocking shot, guys. Not playing well at all today, guys. Need to get this tempo swing fixed. So 38 yards up 9 feet. So that is playing 41 yards. I am going to have to pitch this on. Don't have any other option. There's a perfect, perfect. And that should be close. Should be close. I didn't expect that to check up as quick as that coming out of the rough. But there you go. Couldn't believe that Inverness was... Ah, oh, Paul. Embarrassing, mate. Embarrassing. Yeah, obviously, I can't talk about it too much on the club. If it, On the channel, if anyone from the club heard me, I would uh, probably be pulled up. But, yeah. So, 10 feet, 2 inches up. Breaking slightly to the right. Is it going to turn for me? So, wow, I get the par save. The par save putts have been quite decent today, guys. But I'm just scrambling around this course. I, I don't feel it's that tough a course, to be honest. I am still one under. So let's move on to the last hole, guys. It's a hole 18. Par 5, 575 yards, stroke index 13. Yeah, Aberdeen got a fantastic result away to Ross County, which is always a tough venue for Aberdeen. Two wins and two games for Aberdeen, so quite a large fairway here, guys. Beautiful little stream trickling round the, round the fairway here. Two-part fairway, and then we're on to the, the green, which once again, the, the pin placements are tough. No, Celtic didn't look too hot, mate. Celtic, Celtic looked beatable this season, mate. Last year, I'll be honest, Celtic under Rodgers looked fantastic. Whether they are missing Patrick Roberts, I'm not sure. There's Dembele out until at least Christmas, mate. So, I do feel Celtic... As you called them last year, the Invincibles. They certainly don't look... To and I tell you what, mate. Partick Thistle should have had a, a penalty. If I was a Partick Thistle and if that was against Celtic, Celtic and Rodgers would be uh, cry crying blue murder if that wasn't given. So, if Partick Thistle got that penalty and they stuck it away, it could have been a draw. That's a far better swing. Tempo swing, got the ball really far out there, and hopefully with this par 5, hopefully I can finish with a birdie. Danny Ings would be amazing to get. Is there talks of Celtic getting Danny Ings? Is there? He'd be a great replacement. He had one fantastic season down south, didn't he? Pardon me in the Premier League. When he moved to Liverpool, it went tits up for him. Sometimes it feels par shots are made easier than birdies from the same... No! Steel Bean, I, I totally understand you. I, I totally get you. Yeah, I, I totally feel that as well, mate. So I do feel that I've got a chance of probably getting on the green here, guys. With a wind behind me. I do feel I could hit the green and probably get this close. That's a good swing. Is the wind going to take me round? It's not really, but I am going to be on the green. So I do have an eagle putt. It's probably going to be a long, long putt. If I'm being honest, I think when we struggle against Astana, it usually goes tits up for most English players who go to Liverpool. <laughs> Very true. For the sake of Scottish football, mate, I always want fellow Scottish clubs to do well. I really do. Like, guys... Is it just me? How the hell does this putt look one foot up? That looks one foot down, if anything. I can't understand how the game is saying that is one foot down, uh, one foot uphill. Left, right, right, right. I, I cannot understand this, guys. To me, that looks like it's a downhill putt. Uh, so... I've just got to put my faith in the game here. But honestly, guys, to me, that is a downhill putt. That is not a one-foot uphill. 
I'm so confused to this. I, I can't see how that is a downhill putt. I really can't. Uh, an uphill putt. To me, all day that is uh, downhill. Didn't hit it, but I was I was in between there, guys. Really in between, so... This is going to be a tough birdie putt now. Eight feet, one inches up. Breaking slightly to the left. So, I do finish with a birdie. Ah, oh, yeah. I mean, as long as Rangers get beat, mate, that, that's fine. But anyway, guys, that's it for this live stream. Um, I am going to give that a five star, guys. I felt that was a really good course. You could see that Pit 1976 has put a lot of effort into it. I will favourite that um, for Pit. Um, I can't recall who it was who was asking about the Hackers Paradise on the PC. I think it was KG Troop. So what I will quickly do for you, KG Troop, is I will go to my online societies. There is a Hackers Paradise on the PC, guys. Tomo is trying to mirror every event from the PS4 onto the PC. I think a new event starts today in the Hackers Paradise. Yeah, it does. The Tie Web Cash Builder is now live. So there you go. There's the emblem. It's a star with a golf bag. Um, the season schedule. So let's see. It was the Scottish Open, the Caddyshack Invitational. So I was right. The previous uh, event was the Hackers Paradise Open. There we are. The Tie Web Cash Builder. Happy Gilmer Pro Am. And the Shooter my Gavin tour. And we've got a few few guys who have yet to message me yet. I need to get in touch with the winner of the Hackers Paradise Open, which I'm not sure it is. But that's it for today's stream, guys. Quick question. I play in PC and there is two Hackers Paradise. Oh, no. It's all right. Yeah, I was just catching up with that. That's it for today, guys. No problem, KG Top. Um, hey, Spike Sten. Sorry, mate. You've just missed the live stream, but you can go and catch the replay live on YouTube once it's processed. Thanks to everyone who hung out with me today, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy that course. If you're on the PS4, go out there and get it played. Feel free to add my ghost ball. Um, yeah, that's it for today, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Peace out. Bye.